Hello! It's uh, official time and I think it's about time I caught up on something that a lot of people have had and I never managed to get hold of but now I have and uh, here we are it's Generations Cosmos and what? Oh you read the title right yeah okay uh, it's not Generations Cosmos it's Titans Return Cosmos as I can prove from the box Titans Return, also about Cosmos. Ooh. Which has got a really stupid bio written on it. Uh, where are we? Whether he's flying through space or relaying crucial messages, Autobot Cosmos always has his eye on the Decepticons. Which mean eye? Has he only got what? You know what? No. But yeah, here he is. And he's an ickle dinky round spaceship. Kind of like the original one, which is kind of looked more like a little satellite, but if you got all that and then just pressed it down really hard, that's kind of what they've done. He's just kind of squished and flat, or melted. Melted's possibly a better description. It's like he's melted, so go bleh. But he's really neat. Uh, quick size comparison. Fellow mini bot, sea spray. Because, you know. Uh, mine, I'm not sure if this is supposed to squeeze completely together, but mine doesn't seem to want to. So I've always got this little slit down there. But I could just be doing it wrong. Maybe I should read the instructions for a change. Yeah. But you see, as this is not the Generations figure, this is the Titans Returns figure. That means, logically, it should have a gimmick like Sea Spray, where you can open it up and fit a Titan Master. Here's a Titan Master. Hey look, they fit in the hole. So let's just open this up and... Um, um, there you go. Yeah, uh, basically what they've done is they've just been cheap and reused a mould from, uh, what, about f just five years ago, something like that? Maybe more? So it's not actually one of these figures at all, it's just a mini bot that they've reused for reasons. And I can see why. Because he's beautiful. He is genuinely such a nice little figure. Um, I may have mentioned in a couple of knockoff videos. I used to watch a cartoon. I think the Americans call it Goldrake. But I think the uh, terrible dub I had, it was Grandizer. And the guy's got like little spaceships and stuff, and they, they all look like this, and they're flying around shooting each other, and big robots and fighting and stuff, but whatever. But they all kind of look like this. They're all like little flying saucers with little engines and random fins everywhere. Like a couple of little pop guns out the front. Which is an incredibly brutal addition to Cosmos, who just wants to be everyone's little friend. Yeah? The, the little fat green guy, you know? There's the little fat green guy's Cosmos, and there's a little fat. Well, blue, white, whatever. That's sea spray. Now, sea spray's still fat. And if you haven't seen this mold before, I, I'm amazed. But let's see if Cosmos is still a little podge, shall we? So, we shall try and lift up this panel at the back here with the tail fin. Ah! It's got these tabs either side that just go in inside there. I'll show you more in a minute. But that's probably the hardest part, is trying to get that actually in, flat, both sides, but whatever. Now we will get this piece here. See how this is kind of like a pizza? It's all, like, you know, segmented. We'll get this slice, and we'll slide it out. There are these tiny little grooves there. And from what I've seen, you've got to try and slide it in to get it all to line up. Otherwise you'll end up with more gaps. Like that. So we'll slide that piece out, and we'll pull the whole thing out. We get this piece, and we'll pull that whole thing out like that. And I knew I shouldn't have put the camera down this low. There we go. Okay. So we've got this. And what we're going to do is turn it over. Turn this so that the big gun things are pointing forward. At this ball joint here. Yay! So we do that each side. And we're going to make sure that this little notch is just tucked in behind that. 
You get the impression that they should grip together, but they really don't. So they're both together. Okay. Now, in a hinge in here, thank you, Doc. In a hinge in there, you rotate this whole piece down uh, as far forward as you can, and then straighten these up underneath. There, it's done. What do you think? No, no, no. Um, <clears throat> we've got this piece off. You could do this. Uh, well, you could have done this piece first and left that, but I like to do that bit because I don't know why. And then you bring at this hinged piece here, this whole piece up, this whole piece up. Rotate uh, a big mushroom uh, hinge in there. Turn this whole piece around. And it does resist you like it doesn't want to, but it does go. Fold the little engine flap down. And then you've got to slide these down slightly. Because they've got that little grip, uh, gripped tab in there that sort of slides into a slot there. So to transform it back, you've got to slide that in first. Yeah, like that. So just rotate that all the way down. And slide this one out and down and then get hold this little bit sticking out the back of the head which is incredibly loose and pull it up. There you go. That is Cosmos in robot mode. And he is awesome. Look at that. I mean, wow. I mean, the legs are a little bit... Mm, they're a, a curious design. But he is Awesome, look at this. He's got a little jetpack on the back. He's got knee cannons for no apparent reason. He's got big, hefty fists and stuff. Oh, uh, where are we? Just in there below the thumb. That's the tab where the backpack tabs in. Told you I'd show you. And I remembered. Yay! But he's beautiful. Just just look at the beautiful little fella. Yeah? Head is on a swivel, although it does. Maybe mine's weird. Maybe it's a... Uh, Mold degradation, a la bolt matrix. Um, because this has just been used a lot. I don't know. But mine's a little bit loose. I really don't care. Uh, you know, he's got all the hinges, he's got ball joints on the shoulder, he's got all this. There's the, the backwards for the transformation. Ball joint, hinge, hinge. Well, double hinge, really, but whatever. Who cares? He's a lovely little guy. No weapons to speak of. Due to the whole, um, this used to come with that little jet, uh, that little shuttle that turned into a gun and stuff for him, but whatever. However, this time, I have got, well, I've got him, really. I'd, I've never had him before. I've never had this mold before, which is why when I saw him, uh, I saw brawn as well. And for some reason, I don't want brawn. Something, I've got, I don't know what it is, but I really don't want brawn. There's also a red Chase, I think it is, where his name is. No, it's not Chase. Road Burn, something like that. The one that I thought was going to be Cliff Jumper. Mm. But I saw him, and I love him, and now I can assemble all the mini bots I've got so far. So sea spray. Oh, this lighting's awful. Uh. that any better? Slightly. So Sea Spray, Cosmos, the two tubby ones. Pipes, that isn't really pipes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wheelie, because everyone loves wheelie. And of course, Bumblebee. Let's just arrange these a little bit more nicely, shall we? Uh, sea Spray, because you're a bit of a big one compared to these guys. Pipes can kind of squeeze at the back. Bulby, there you go. Look at that. So what are we missing so far? We're missing Warpath, but I, I refuse to get the one like this where it's a, a weird Megatron repaint. I refuse to get that. So we need Warpath and Beachcomber, Brawn. Then there's a uh, Offro. Uh, sorry, Outback. And Huffer. Uh, is that about it? Oh, Power Glide. Power Glide. Where's my Power Glide? Oh, I haven't got Power Glide. I've got Viper. 
Sorry, that's right. That's where I was. Ah, silly me. But yeah, so um, the guys, man. Look at look at them. They're, they're looking quite a nice little team. The little mini bots. I mean, he's not right, but you know, it's pipes. There's not many people who really care about pipes. Cosmos and Sea Spray are more well known than pipes. Wheelie is probably a lot more beloved than pipes. I'd quite like to see a proper pipes, but that's me. Um, yeah, I mean, I love the way Wheelie compacts down as much considering he still has the gimmick where you fit one of these things in it. He actually compacts down quite a lot. He's effectively still got an empty cube in his chest, so I'll never forgive him. And these two are figures that aren't from this line, and therefore don't have to worry about that. But he's not pipes. Oh well, um, I don't know. He's good. I like him. Um, why did I suddenly? That's called putting these into like the little V formation. Why did I suddenly get a Power Rangers theme? <laughs> don't know why. Maybe it's a, a child of my generation. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So, Titans Return Cosmos. If you didn't manage to get the generation version, like I didn't, he is pretty good. I suggest you pick him up. Twelve pounds is a bit. Twelve thirteen pounds is a bit much, but. Yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, it's a shame he doesn't have a gun, but I suppose if need be, I could give him one of these things. Should I give him one of these things? Ah, it doesn't want to go in his hand. Who cares? You can use knee lasers. That'll do it. Knee laser! Pew! Sorry, I was trying to go for some really terribly uh, dubbed Japanese robot cartoon. Oh well. So yeah, um, <laughs> I'm going to leave it there because I'm embarrassing myself now. Ah, uh, good times. So, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. See ya!